Hello. Welcome to Make It Monday. I'm Gail. I am the owner of Glistening Water, and I am here today to inspire your creativity, guide your skills, so that you can make home decor that you are proud of. So today, we are going to update some of the things that I've had around the house. So this was our St. Patrick's Day design, and I am going to use the other side. This is a board and base. It's five by seven. I love it. It's every month I love to change it out and put something fun and new on it. I found one of, I think it's old, good things take time. So I don't know about you, but for me, springtime is a time for beginnings. And it is a time to recreate what maybe wasn't serving you in the past seasons. And I just love that idea. I love to be able to say, okay, that was then, this is now, it's a new season, new opportunities, and new chances to make life wonderful. So that is going to play into, excuse me, our tray. I don't know if you remember this, but this was a tray that I concocted back in Christmas time. And there is an insert inside of it. This was Christmas. This was Valentine's. And now we're going to do spring. I have this piece of paper that is just about the perfect size for this insert. There, I might have to do a little fixer-uppers on the side, but it will work, which is all I am hoping for. So I love using my Chalk Couture products. It is a direct sales company that was established in 2017, I believe. I have been with the company since 2018. Their products are so much fun to use. You can create artwork that makes you look like a rock star of a designer, when in fact, I can't even draw a good circle. So that being said, let's get started. So I am going to probably leave this green on because it's such a pretty color for spring. And we are just going to work on this blank side. Now these are reusable. They are erasable. You just use a good old soap and water, not even soap, just some water. And the paste comes right off. I'm just going to clean this up because it got a little messy from the St. Patrick's Day. Now, if you don't like the black board, you can very easily paint it, spray paint it, and then use our chalk products over the top. And let's dry that off. I hope wherever you're watching from, things are lovely and wonderful. We've got some sunshine here in upstate New York. And it is a good day. So this, I'm just going to smooth down. I am going to take some light blue paste that comes in this jar. And whenever you're done with applying the paste, all the leftover goes back in the jar. So you use very little. This jar could last you quite a good amount of time. And my squeegee had fallen into the paste. So I'm just making it a little bit neater because I am the master messy crafter. 
yes, I, I could be dirty without even coming near something that is messy. So I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And can you see? Yes, you can. So this is a adhesive, reusable silk screen transfer. We don't really call them stencils because stencils bring to mind um, a lot of aggravation. We like to say we transfer the design from the adhesive backing to the surface with using this paste. There's no running. There's no seeping underneath and getting blobs unless, of course, you don't have a good... Um, adherence to the surface. You just scrape off all the excess, put it back in the jar, so we do not waste an ounce. And then we pull off this transfer. Set the transfer aside to be washed later. And you can't ask for a better result. It is clean. It is neat. And it looks fabulous. So I will um, embellish it up. Maybe at the end, if we have some time, I don't want to use your valuable time. I can take a picture of it, which I usually do, and then post it underneath. Okay, so now let's work on the base of the tray. As I said, I'm going to use this piece of paper. And then we are going to use this as a background because spring, although it's all about um, rain, it is all about flowers things blooming, things being beautiful, things changing, metamorphosis. It's a beautiful thing. So when we have a brand new transfer, we like to do what's called fuzzing. So basically we are going to put some lint on the back of this transfer so that when we pull it up, it has not stuck to the surface it is going on. Now I'm taking a bit of a chance, but then again, I have a tendency to do that. Um, sometimes transfers can stick to paper and pull the paper up, but I'm feeling lucky. So I am going to give it a shot. And <laughs> I got a sticker stuck to my transfer from the towel I was using. And let's see if I can get it up. Yep. No worse for the wear. Okay. And this is the backing. And after I've washed it, we will put it back down on that backing. And this is how we fuzz. We also have a very nice fuzzing cloth that we can use. But I have this towel. You could use anything. I could even stick it to my sweatshirt here, which has a lot of fuzz on it. And then just pull it off. Okay. So I hope everyone had a lovely weekend. 
and I think most of the United States had pretty funky weather and we were no exception here. It was pretty wild. So we lay this down and I can see through the transfer so I can see where I'm applying it. And I am going to adhere the transfer to the paper. And I am going to use a very pretty color called uh, Couture Coral. And I'm going to get another squeegee. Now, we're going to put it over the silk screen here, and that is where the color will transfer to. It will not transfer on this green portion, because that's all basically blacked out. And I'm just making sure there are no bubbles, and everything is down flat. And then I have a little saying that I'm going to use probably a darker color to put over the top. And we are going to put some on here and basically just paint over and we only put on so much paste till we can see through and I might need a little squirt of water because this is feeling a little dry which does happen I was working on something else and I did have the jar open and it will dry out if the lid is left off And when working with paste, you want to work fairly quickly. I mean, you don't have to rush and rush, but you don't want the paste to dry on top of the silk screen because then you won't get a transferred image. So we can do what's called paste and pull which means before I'm finished with the whole design, I am going to pull it up so that I can transfer that paste and you see it did dry a little bit in there. Oh well, we will fix it because everything is fixable. going to now use a different color, a little berry, and actually that might not be a bad thing that it's very light over there because that's where I'll put my saying and then that way I won't have a problem reading the message that we are going to put on here for a little inspiration, motivation. I leave my, this tray up in my living room on the ottoman in front of the couch and I see it quite often. So that is always a very nice reminder and I'm just going to put a little berry over here and again we're going to do a little lift and then lay it back down. Now this one came out much better and now we'll do a little green 
The secret is to make sure your paste is nice and wet, but not runny. You kind of want it, you know, it's going to have a little, little um, sheen to it because it's nice and wet. And where is there another leaf? Here is another leaf. And I love Chalk Couture because you can get um, depth and color with adding other colors to it. It's not just one color. You can bring in other colors as you would find in nature. And let's lift that baby up. Oh, I put some on my table. Okay. I didn't realize it's a-okay because it washes right off of the dry surface. Oh, and there's this big leaf over here. So we will do a little bit of the dark green and then the vein that's going up in the center. We'll do it in the lighter green. And, and you don't have to be all that um, meticulous about working because it's very forgiving. And then I will just wash this in my laundry room sink. Okay. And we've got two more flowers to work on. And this one, I think I'm going to do a little bit darker purple. This will be nice and cheery. And let's say you wanted to mix colors. So you could put the lighter purple in the center as it is quite often with flowers and then do a little bit darker around the edge of it and let's get that back in and get rid of the excess we don't need anything extra going down the septic tank. And for this two other little flowers right here, let's use this pretty color, which is called Shimmer Melon. Oh, no, it's a little too dry. Um, Let's use... Hmm. Oh, you can use this color raspberry. That should be pretty. And I am going to use the squeegee that I used for the coral. And get a little combination color going here. And this paste is a little dry, so I'm going to lift a little bit sooner versus later. And if I had prepared better, I would have checked these colors prior to starting this live, but today just got away from me. I'm sure you've had days like that. And finish.
finish that. Now, if I wanted, and I might, I could always take a paintbrush and fill that in if I chose to. I might. I might not. We shall see. And this one other little flower up here at the top, right here. And I'm just going to make sure that it is sealed down on the paper. And this paste dries pretty fast, so it will be available to continue. Okay, so I kind of like that little bit of a watercolor look, not a solid kind of look to it. And then I am going to take my message and I'm going to do this message in a very dark blue. And it's every day is an opportunity for joy. And see, I'm, I'm like a mess. But that is a-okay. And we are going to fuzz it. And we're going to lay this down right in the center, or maybe off to the side. Yeah, let's do it off to the side. I like that idea. And I'm not going to do black because I'm not really a black and white kind of chick. I kind of like browns and um, like copper colored. Bronze is the color that we have. And I think that will be the color that I'm going to use. Let me just go get it. Shimmer Copper. And that is what we are using. See? Shimmer Copper. And stir it up. And that seems nice and wet, but not too wet. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. And we are just going to squeegee this on. And I hope you feel like every day is an opportunity for joy. Because every minute that we are walking around. We have an opportunity to bring joy to somebody else, bring joy to ourselves. And to me, that's a, it's a great reason to wake up in the morning. And believe me, living up here by myself, there have been plenty of days where it has been a bit of a struggle, but eventually I come around and all is good. And I'm just going to do it in one single color. There's so much color on the rest of it. Sometimes less is more. And I love color. And I'm just picking up whatever's a little bit left. And we're going to 
pull this baby up. And that looks pretty darn cool. And let me just set this aside. And this will be the center of our tray. And it will go on this board. It will go right over this baby here. Just like so. And it will be in my living room. And I will stage it and take some pictures. And it will be a wonderful addition to my living room. Well, that's it for me today. I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely rest of your day. And I look forward to making it again on next Monday. Happy Easter. Bye.